So next, I'm going to talk to Martin Bloomers. Martin, please join me. And um, as usual, we had a, we had a conversation, and, and you're a bit of a serial entrepreneur. You're a lawyer and a serial entrepreneur, yes, which is of, quite yeah. interesting. And I actually found the red line. It's always with you about fairness and transparency, because whether it's Casa Social or it's, it's Guts, it's always about this fairness thing. Yeah, and right. um, Martin is a co-founder of Guts. The other co-founder was on, I don't think, any of the television shows, because you've got a very famous Joop van Heck who is supporting you in this whole endeavor, yeah. who's a very famous name here. I'm going to give you all the time you need. Um, all right. The floor is yours. Thank you very Tell much. Tell us about guts. No guts, no glory, Martin. Yeah, that's basically the, the idea. I'm not sure how this works, but we'll figure it out along the way. So, hello, my name is Martin Bloomers. I am the co-founder and CEO of Guts Tickets. Uh, I'm a lawyer by trade. Uh, but that really doesn't matter anymore because what I'm doing right now is uh, much more fun. Um, we made it our mission to create a worldwide honest ticketing market. Um, yeah, first shot, right button. Uh, so the problem with tickets, everybody knows the, the problem with tickets, but I think it's fair to uh, state um, what a ticket is according to guts. So we think a ticket is the proof of payment to a right to access uh, an event or a venue. And this proof is based on external factors. So it's based on a piece of, uh, uh, a little bit of ink on a piece of paper or an image in a PDF file. Um, and because these tickets are sold uh, in the real world, so they're physical uh, or semi-digital, -digi um, it's very easy to resell those tickets. Um, and people arbitrage the shit out of it. Uh, so 30% of all tickets are resold on the secondary market uh, with yeah, sort of reasonable uh, markups, 100, 250%. And for the high-end concerts, this is much, much higher. Uh, everybody knows the, uh, the example of Adele. Um, so the problem with the tickets, in our view, is that the authenticity is proven by some ex external factors. So what we did is we took that right to uh, access to the venue or the, or the event, we took it and we put it in the blockchain because people don't care how that right manifests itself. They just want to get in. How, the, how we do it, they don't care. Um, so what we do is we put the properties and the ownership of the tickets, the smart tickets as we call them, uh, we put them on blockchain. Um, and then you get this beautiful thing. This is our smart ticket. Normally, this is a video, so you should see that the QR code is dynamic and you should see all the properties the ticket has. Um, I'll just give you some uh, explanation about it. So the, the main thing is that the QR code is dynamic, so it changes every five seconds. So screenshots, uh, stuff like that, it's absolutely uh, useless to uh, get into the venue. And what we do is we take the digital right to access to an event and, and we link it to your mobile phone. Uh, and your mobile phone number, actually the combination of the two. Um, and because we have, oh, there it goes. Um, uh, and because we make the ticket self-aware uh, due to blockchain technology, uh, we can actually dictate the rules of the secondary market. So the ticket knows of itself how it's being sold, when it's being sold, and uh, 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 according to what conditions it's being sold. Um, yeah, everybody knows blockchain, so it, it makes it very secure and we can actually dictate the rules uh, of the secondary market. Um, so we are in existence about two and a half years now, I think. Yeah, I believe so. Um, it really started out as a joke um, and it's getting more funny every day. Um, so what we did is first we had a proof of concept to see if blockchain actually had some added value uh, concerning uh, concert tickets. Um, and we did that with the hackathon in the in the Ukraine. Um, worked out, worked out really well actually. Uh, so we thought, okay, we might be onto something. Uh, what's next? Um, nobody is going to install MetaMask or uh, buy some shady crypto to go to a Adele concert. My mother wouldn't be able to attend. Uh, so that's not really going to uh, get the business started and um, um, is not the way to, to mass adoption of, uh, of, of the blockchain technology in the crypto space, in our view. So the next thing we did is, well, blockchain is all about cutting out the middleman, and we just thought, well, why don't we go to the source of the value chain, just 
I asked them politely if they would like to try our system um, so their fans have an honest um, uh, ticket experience. Um, turns out they're actually very receptive to those kinds of uh, things. So one of my uh, companions, he actually literally rang the doorbell uh, at U van Heck, and he was um, uh, enthusiastic from the get-go. Um, and they are just pushing it down the value chain. So that's basically our sort of childish uh, go-to-market strategy, which is actually working. Um, we are selling 200,000 tickets this year, uh, over 1 million tickets next year. So we're actually selling tickets. Um, and this is, uh, yeah, we're, we're doing great. We have a lot of, lot of traction. So the next phase is that we're going to build, uh, uh, a further build the GET protocol. This is a sort of a blockchain back uh, uh, engine uh, for tickets. Uh, so I know nothing about the Dutch ticket market, let alone I know anything about the Indonesian ticket market. So what we thought is, well, let them handle it. We just provide the tools to, uh, to do so. Um, the only thing they need is our fuel, which of course is our own token. It's the guaranteed, uh, the guaranteed entrance token, the GET. Uh, we did an ICO and we concluded it the 14th of December last year. Um, so that's basically um, the things we do. So, so it's very important to emphasize that we have a, a hybrid solution. Uh, it's idiot proof. Everybody can buy and sell a ticket within one minute. Uh, no knowledge of crypto uh, is needed whatsoever. It's the same as, uh, uh, as internet. Nobody here can explain uh, to me how the TCP IP protocol works, but everybody sends email. So that's basically uh, uh, the way we uh, see our ticket um, application being adapted. So these are the takeaways. Uh, no more ticket fraud. It's impossible to duplicate a ticket. No more disgraceful secondary ticket prices because we can dictate the rules of the secondary market. Um, because of blockchain, we have the audit trail of, uh, of every, every ticket, um, which means we have fantastic data. Normally you just have the data of the uh, fans of the primary market. In our case, you have the data of everybody, uh, which makes yeah a future promotion of events very easy, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and the most important thing, ease of use above all. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, we all love this. And um, again, probably in your business case as well, the human factor is the most difficult one, is, is how do you sign up more artists or because you want to cut out the middlemen, I appreciate that, and I understand that in a country where you, you know your feet, you can do that, so you're going white label, I understand, in other countries. But what would you do if one of the largest ticket sale platforms comes to you and say, can we use your platform? Um, they could. Uh, so the main challenge for us right now is, is getting it super stable, so we're battle yeah. testing the, the yeah. protocol right now. Um, so for now, it would be actually a bit uncomfortable to, to say, well, hell yes, we'll, uh, we'll sell out uh, Coachella. Um, but in about a year, we think we, we actually uh, can do this. So last Friday, we had our first sort of big sale, and we did 17,500 tickets in one and a half hour. Wow. So that's, uh, yeah, we're, we're getting there, yeah. Yeah, because I can also uh, understand that, for instance, you know, booking restaurant seats in expensive restaurants is, could be a next uh, area to walk down because they're now in the, you know the real good restaurants in towns like New York and London, even in Amsterdam, they ask yeah. for down payment because some people are so rude that they book tables in three restaurants and go to one. Yeah, so so it's definitely <laughs> the the vision of the protocol uh, uh, to be um, adapted in more verticals than only the concert market. But the concert market is very appealing. There's a yeah. sort of a, 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 a cycle in in, uh, in disappointment about concert tickets. So it comes in the news every time. Yeah. And now uh, lately every time we come in the news, so yeah. that's good. Um, and with respects to onboarding new artists, it's actually quite easy because okay. they all know each other. Uh, we just, we, we don't pretend Word to be... Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's just... They just and it is, a, as you say, that's true, actually, thinking about it. It's a very viral market. That concert goers and people who go to events and, and particular, they all know where to find each other. I have lost touch with that a little bit, although I'm going to, you know, I'm, go I'm going to Pink Floyd in three oh. weeks' time, but that that's shows good. how old I am. Uh, <laughs> my son, I know, from the festival circuit, they all know each other. I'm taking a look at some of the questions from uh, the audience. A very pure question, why did you choose for a blockchain-based ba system and not something else, not just pure other ordinary tech? Yeah, so, so <laughs> we're, we're also looking to other things, but the blockchain uh, a part of it is purely the transparency, because then everybody can actually see what the yeah. ticket has done and if the ticket is authentic or not. Yeah. Uh, this is very important. And the other thing is uh, we can create a digital ticket within... Um, uh, uh, 
but it's sort of a space which cannot be uh, be altered. Uh, you could do it with a with a central database, but it's actually a bit harder. So that's why we chose blockchain. Yeah, can you still resell tickets? Resell yeah. tickets with your yeah, system? Yeah, you, you absolutely can. Uh, so you can anonymously sell your tickets for the same price, uh -huh. um, uh, because otherwise you could sort of have a second stream of uh, of money. Um, but you can also share the right. Uh, of the tickets with everybody. So yeah. if we have a like a group of four people, uh, somebody is late or uh, whatever, you can share the rights with other people. Yeah. Uh, and the other people have all the rights concerning the tickets. So everybody in your group can sell or resell uh, the whole bunch of tickets. Okay. So you make it a zero-sum game, and that's why uh, uh, nobody will. Uh, yeah, but it is at least very transparent. Uh, yeah. One more question for the sake of time: uh, How do you add more value to a secondary ticket exchange compared to, for instance, like Ticket Swap? So TicketSwap is, uh, we really like TicketSwap. It's a very good company and uh, those guys really know their stuff and uh, they're absolutely, um, uh, they have the heart in the right place. So that's that's yeah. the first thing I need to emphasize. Um, but now the bashing, uh, it's just, uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's symptombestrijding. It's just um, uh, fighting the symptoms and yeah. not, not the problem. So and they only do the secondary market yeah. and they actually became sort of a, a marketplace for touts who uh, uh, are okay with just making 20% profit. Okay. Well, thank you so much uh, for being here. Yeah, and sure. uh, you definitely have guts and glory. Thank I hope you. coming your way. Thank you so much.